in playing in the uh, uh, um, rhythm section, the pianist has some rather special problems. Uh, and if you don't play piano, uh, you might not always be aware of those things. In just writing chords, uh, many chords are just written, uh, they're written like that, and uh, if the pianist just plays that voicing, uh, it gets pretty boring, so pianists play all kinds of play other kinds of uh, voicings. Uh, but uh, one major problem for most uh, ensemble pianists is uh, the fact that uh, when you play with the band or with an ensemble, you play in one style because you have a bass, a guitar, a drum, and, and uh, you have three, two or three other instruments uh, performing with you. When you play alone and you do that, uh, it sounds pretty empty. So uh, you have to do some other things. You have to, you have to uh, use more of the instrument. Now, some of the players who played today uh, use a lot of the instrument. I mean, using figures, uh, using uh, uh, um, fourths, using uh, uh, all kinds of textures, and uh, um, gave their uh, uh, ensembles a, a, a kind of a different uh, feeling. Uh, I was, I was delighted to see that uh, several players, uh, both guitarists and uh, pianists, didn't mind laying out for a few bars and letting uh, other members of the uh, section kind of carry the ball. That's very important because you need to change the uh, uh, color. And if you're swinging along with four people at all times, then there's not too much variety, that, uh, there are not too many different things that all four of you can do that make everything uh, have a different quality. So sometimes just the uh, one person laying out and letting the whole emphasis shift a little more closely to three people uh, makes a very big difference and changes the rhythm. Then when the fourth person comes back in, it gives it another kind of lift. Um, one uh, uh, pianist uh, played uh, a very beautiful ballad. I hadn't played this thing in a long time. I don't know if I remember. Uh, I said I'd play it, so I'm trying to remember. Um, Now, if I were playing solo, I'd probably do something like that. If I were playing in the orchestra, I would probably be playing. I don't think it was in that key. It was in F, wasn't it? Yeah. Huh. So uh, depending on the miking that you have, you can, you can play things. So I'm playing all up here because I know the bass player and the guitar, they've got all that, or the band has all of that. So I don't have to do that. If I was playing a solo, I'd have to do it. Because I'd have to use more of the piano. Now it's possible to do that, uh, in the in the context of a band, and you might want to do that in leading into the band, uh, where the band, where the band comes in with some rather large uh, ensembles. But what do you do when you come out of that? Now the band. Uh, into another part of the instrument and, and play uh, using uh, uh, that kind of uh, harmony or playing chords. Uh. So uh, harmonically you can, you can do some things which will cut through and which will work. Um, 
and uh, it's a little difficult to to not do it in the in the context of that orchestration. But as I remember it, there, there were uh, uh, trombone and reed, uh, nice uh, warm chords being played under, and the, the pianist had an opportunity to play uh, just single single line things, or things like that. <laughs> 